Hello and welcome to chapter 3 of my Massive Wonder tutorial. In this one I will be talking about hands. Alright, so this is the, the hand type that I usually make. This is the side and here's the top. Looks very nice. It's the opening. Um, not only does it have a low amount of polys, it also is very animation friendly. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to start off is set your first frame here on the side to the side, and then the one over here to the top. Then enter edit mode and squish it down a bit. Nice and flat. Yeah, about, about the, the height of a, a normal human hand. Uh, we'll go to the top here. Stretch this out a bit. Cut it down the center. Drag these down. Just like that. And extrude twice. This will become the index finger and then this group right here will be the rest of the fingers I suppose. And normally what I do to give it a little bit more of a natural curve, I'll cut it one more time here and then just grab the tip here and bring it back just like that. Back in the side view. Oh, actually, uh, we want this the front view. My bad. Sorry about that. Uh, grab the the end of the index finger. And here on the side, rotate it a bit. Grab the entire finger, scale it down, it's a little bit too fat to be a regular finger. And do the same thing with the other set of fingers here in the background. Now back here in the top view, grab the side, cut it, and extrude. This will become the thumb area. Grab this, extrude that, oh. And extrude one more time. So now turn the camera a bit and merge these together. Turn the camera again, this time looking into the space in between the thumb and the rest of the hand. And select everything here inside. And delete it. And go around, select all the empty faces at the moment, and then add faces to them, just like what I'm doing.
You also may want to grab the base of the hand and scale it down, just so the rest of your hand looks a little more natural. Grab these fingers. Whoops. A bit and do index. Let's go to the side here and change the camera. We can grab the thumb easily. Bring it down and rotate it a bit. And down here, that doesn't look very good. So grab this vertice, the other side, bring it down like that. So here now it looks like a thumb pad. Let's go back to the top view. Just like these, bring them about to the middle. scale bigger, and delete that edge, so we have a nice opening point. You can make little changes, make it fatter, thinner, whatever you want to do, texture it nicely, make it look like it has gloves. Oh, you know what? Hands have a natural curve, don't they? There we go. Whoops. There we go, looks much more natural rather than just cute. Oh, for anyone wondering what happened there when half my hand disappeared, uh, try this. Uh, just select a whole bunch of vertices, doesn't really matter which ones, and then hit the H key it hides whatever you select. Hitting Alt-H will reveal anything you hit. Makes it easy if all of a sudden you're trying to edit it here on this side and the thumb keeps getting in the way. So just select the thumb, hide it, and go into this view and edit whatever you need to. And if you enter object mode, anything hidden will be revealed. So it reminds you that you still have stuff hidden there. That's it for hands, folks. Thanks for watching.